for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Sun Devils going up against the Razorbacks. John Shambi on play-by-play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Singy, one of the stories in this one is a highly anticipated Major League debut, and all eyes will be on him as he gets the start in the mound. I love watching pitching debuts at this level because there's no waiting around to see the rookie in action. You get thrown right into the deep end of the Major League pool. He's center stage from the first inning on, so... Like you said, Boo, there's no hiding at all. There's a ton of excitement about this kid's future, and he's about to face the best lineup of his life, so I'm excited to see how he attacks it. Leading off, Isaiah Jackson. That's in there, and this one is off and running. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's one down. Okay, let's check out the lineup. So up next, Johnny Weaver. Two for seven in the series so far. In the air, right field. And in one hops the wall. Takes the turn, he's digging for second. And he's in there, it's a first inning double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Challenged him with the, the fastball right in the heart of the zone and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. One out, runner at second. And now, number 23. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Smash to the left side. Fires across the diamond. And there are two outs. That is good. The designated hitter. Ethan Long getting ready oh. to hit. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Weaver around third. He scores, and it's 1-0. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And it's fouled away. And it's second. Squirts away a little bit. Catcher has it, fires the first. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here at the ballpark and today's starting pitcher Curtis it's a tough veteran lineup on the other side but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one bottom of the first and yeah, the batter now Kendall Diggs out there to center McClain coming on makes the grab one away all right let's take a look at the lineup and here's the rookie center fielder number 26 First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. That one ripped, but foul. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first, and the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. That is third. The third baseman. Number 36. Here is the rookie third baseman. Number 36. And that's in there for strike one. He swings and fouls one off. 
Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the righty deals. Towards first. He handles it himself, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. Top Lead of the second, digging Arizona. in. Trey Newman looking for his first big league hit right Newman. here. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Trey Newman with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP, at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. And a pitch. And a ball evens the count. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predict. And that one gets away at the plate. Gets to it on the first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And the batter now, number 13. That one fouled off. Newman leads off second with one gone in the inning. Line drive to short and caught. 39. And now, number six, 0 for 6 in the series so far. And first offering is fouled off. I'm not sure you can say he fooled him with that first pitch changeup, but it did have him out on that front foot just enough. Well, I'll be interested to see how he... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And out of here. A two-run homer. His first homer of the year. It's 3-0. Isaiah Jackson will hit next. That's a laser base hit. Now he'll turn for second. He's there. It's a two-out double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got now something that. he could handle. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. So man aboard. Now the number two hitter, Johnny Weaver. One for one with a double and a run score. And downstairs. And it is two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The two one. There's a strike. Swing and a pop-up. He's got it. And that is out number three. 
but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second, and now Jones. In for a strike, strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch oh, misses inside. Now one and two. That's and now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And that's the first strikeout of his major good. league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The throw into second, and he'll pull into second safely. He found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. And here is number 14. First pitch, and he just misses. And that one missing low. Rolling. The runner at second with one away. The next no. offering misses. And now three and one. Back foot slider struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Top half of the third inning. And now the first baseman, number 23. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases throw and it gets away you might be wondering how did he only get a single out of that drive well that was a masterful defensive play out there in center he couldn't make the catch but he played it perfectly in terms of getting the ball back into the infield and ultimately I think oh now this one's high and deep way back there on its way gone he powers one out to right field, his first homer of the year, and they add on. It's five zip. So digging in, Nick McClain. He's 0 for 1. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's there at third with a triple. 
Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. I love the hustle out of the box. Man, he drove that baseball, and he was thinking triple right away. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Wiggins is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. 41 gets the ball now. He's making his second appearance of the season, his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Well, these guys oh, putting together break. some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was... That's a base hit. Run scores. Comes through with the RBI. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And at first, and now number 32, 0 for 1 so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner, Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw, save! Well, I'm sure that steal will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Two one now. Little chopper rolls foul. Two two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So up next, number thirteen. He's zero for one. First offering, and it just misses. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Runner leads away at second. He's trying for third. Now a bunt with two strikes, and that goes foul. It's a strikeout. Now the third baseman, number six. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Pitch misses there, and it's one and oh. Newman at second with two down. Ripped, but it curls foul. Well, he was ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it and hit it hard. Had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment, let it travel a little more, and see if you can keep that thing fair. And that is the third out of the inning. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, and a runner left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the shortstop, Hunter Grimes. And first offering is fouled off. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. One gone, bottom of the third inning. And now the rookie second baseman, number 20, entered the game on defense. So this is his first trip to the plate in this one. That one's in there, 0 and 1. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as the stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Kicks and fires. Well. 
pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. The next pitch misses, and the count's even at two. Ground ball, left side. Tosses across oh. the first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom the of the third. The so the lineup hit. flips over. Kendall Diggs. Yeah. Diggs in now. Flied out to center in his first at bat. In there, and it's on one. Diggs. In his rookie season, just 19 years old. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Next offering upstairs. And that one hit 97 on the gun. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Isaiah Jackson. Isaiah Jackson. There's a strike. On the ground, right side. One up, one down. Now, now it's going to be Johnny Weaver. Johnny Weaver. In there for strike one. That's in there. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Next pitch is popped up. Jones makes the catch. Two down. Next to hit, number 23. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. It bangs off the wall. Throws to second. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Put your hands up, hands up. You single and ain't looking for no man. Got your own, ain't got to run a stand. Give me a chance. I got my bands up. Back here at the ballpark, and now the center fielder, number 26. Curtis back to work. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Next one misses. One ball, one strike. You know, this group of hitters, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Next pitch has popped up. Hauls it in for the out. Ball's just not carrying now the first tonight. <laughs> Number 13. Now, you would actually say that to your teammate, the dugout. No, I'm not that cruel. But someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. Jones, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And there's a ball. Ball, one strike. Next pitch Again. inside, two. two balls and a strike. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Foul ball there. Oh. 
The 2-2. Two -two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. And now the DH, Ethan Long. The designated hitter. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Nick Griffin. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Slapped foul. Here's a 1-1. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Makes the turn and heads for second. Pulls in with a double. Third hit for him today. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. Now at the plate, Nick McClain. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. High bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. Stepping in, Trey Newman. And that's in there for strike one. And a strike in there. No ball, two strikes. The 0-2. Way inside, gets out of the way. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And there's one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Number 32, batting with one down, takes a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Griffin has a beat on it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. So two down now, and here is number 13. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All one's the count. McClain on its second with two down. Swing and a bouncer. Grimes. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, an error like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if these guys are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Two men left. Welcome back. We head to the Video. bottom of the fifth. And now the switch hitting the catcher, catcher. Parker, Parker Rowling. The pitch. Oh, and there's a foul ball. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse. One Go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a miss. And a count. Right. One and two. Ball that two. one missed. And a pitch. Off the mark there. Full count now. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man on base to start the inning. So a man aboard. Now here is number 14. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Moved first. And he no, dives back in safely. 
Runner at first with no outs here. And that one sliced foul. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out into left center field. Makes a nice run and catch. And there's one away. Jared Wagner now, it. now at the left plate. Fielder. 0 for 1 with a flyer. Wagner. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. At the belt and fires. Ball in. And one and two. Two strike. High fly ball, right field. Jackson calls it in, two away. Man at first, Hunter Grimes getting ready to hit. Up the middle. They take the force out. That ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Isaiah Jackson. Griffin back to work. Griffin, a 6'4 lefty. He features a four seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, a slider, and he works in a two seamer. Ball to strike, the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those One more over. margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And here it comes. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start now the battle. frame, and that's now Number three in a row. Three. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. One and, one. and now the count is even. That's and another ball. ball. Two, balls, Two outs. One this one popped up. Grimes makes the play, and that is that. Nothing doing here this half to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Sun Devils have the lead. Seven to nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the second baseman, number 20. And the right hater back to work. Nope. Just missed. Rips that one center field, one away. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems now like, back. within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Kendall Diggs will hit next. That one's in there, 0-1. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. One down, base is empty. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Yeah. 
Throw to first. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Two outs, base is empty. And now here is number 26. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Number 12 looking for a two-out spark, but the base is empty. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Your Staying in the game leaders. on defense, now number 12. He'll be out in center now number after pinch 12. hitting. Ethan Long digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. Number 29 number on the pitch out of the pen here. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. That one ripped. Pulls it in for the out. The center fielder, number eight. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, McClain. Nick McClain. Oh. Just missed. And there's the strike. Here comes a pitch. And he pumps it a strike. That one lifted to left. Wagner makes the grab. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. And here is Trey Newman. Newman. In there and it's 0-1. All ones the count. Swing and a little roller right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Out number three. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, number 36. The right-hander back to work. This one high in the air to left center. McLean brings it in. And a quick out, now number one. Number 13. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jones, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses the mark. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. He makes the grab, and there are two outs. And now Parker rolling. And first offering is fouled off. Now one and one. Right. 
Four. Next offering misses, and two a count balls. two and one. Line drive, base hit right field. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Number 14 at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. Throws to first. Inning over. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, number 32, Zach Morris. We'll take over here on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, they're just more people. Oh, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now, number 13. First pitch, and he just misses. And that's outside. No outs. Runner on second. To the right side. And that one handled. First out in the top of the eighth. Now the third baseman, number six. Cracks his bat and pops him off. Two away down. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here is Isaiah Jackson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch misses and it's two and one. And strike two. And that's downstairs and outside. And that's ball four. And the batter will be the shortstop, Johnny Weaver. And that's in there for strike one. And that one is inside. Next offering upstairs. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. For the bottom of the eighth, now the left fielder, Jared Wagner. And he deals. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And that one's gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, it's 7-1. to do damage. I think he had a sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Curtis done for the afternoon, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Pitching change here, number 33. He's into the game with the bases empty. And now the shortstop, Hunter Grimes. Fouled off. He was late. And now the 01. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And the batter now, number 20, Grimes. Aboard here at first with nobody out. Fought off foul. Way high there. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. So the batting order turns over, and next is the designated hitter, Kendall Diggs. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one's carrying. And in one hops the wall. One run across. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his backpack to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Dylan Gardner into the game. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 12, now at the plate. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Ball. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Line drive, base hit. Digs around third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 7-4. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Waste no time there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Jones, the next to hit. And that one gets past the catcher. Both runners move up, two in scoring position now, and that takes away the double play. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That clips the zone, and one and one. Meanwhile, activity of the bullpen. A lefty up and throwing out there. The tying run at the plate. Out to short, Weaver. There for the out, runner scores from third. Parker Rowland will hit next. Parker Rowland. Line drive, could be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score, and it's a one-run game. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen, number 47. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And now it's going to be number 14. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. 
Here's a high fly ball out to center. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. No, Just here. makes everything oh, slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. Wagner in the box now. Takes strike one. Riding to the plate. And fouled off. This to third, and it stays fair. Headed for the plate. He'll score in the top. It's 7-7. Fires the second too late in the second with a double, and that was hard hit. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So runner at second, two down. Now it's the shortstop, Hunter Grimes. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. And the right hander deals. One and one. Swing and he popped it up. Number six sizes this one up. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So it's seven runs on eight hits. No errors and one left. Through eight full and we are tied 7-7. here at the ballpark all set to start the ninth in this one and here's the first baseman number 23 number 38 on the pitch here this is his third time out this year and here it comes in the air out to center he's got it and there's one down Next is the designated hitter, Ethan Long. There's a strike. And I know you want to be patient oh, as a yeah. hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. McClain. McClain stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two balls, no strikes. Back to right. Number 14 settles under it, makes the play, and it's out number three. Nothing across here this half, and 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are... And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, number 20. The second baseman, number 20. The pitch. And that's down and away. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Out to short. One out, bottom of the nine. Now battle. The designated hitter. So now here's the DH. Kendall Diggs. And first offering is fouled off.
But why the kick the pitch? Line drive, base hit. Jackson to second. Makes it to second. The winning runs in scoring position with one gone. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Winning run in scoring position now, so a punch AB could end this one. Bases. Diggs. Rounds third, headed for the plate. In comes the winning run, and they work it off. Eight to seven. The throw is wild, and it gets away. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. And a final, 8-7. to seven. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. You ever lost it all and had to get it all back? It's got me looking back and everything was all mad. You gotta know the rules and know when to fall back. This time I want it all and it ain't all chat. Oh, I'm mad. My mommy took my chain and where I pawned that. Life's like a movie, I record that. Dad was in jail. So I grew up calling poor dad, sitting in my cell with a Everybody's active, play your part, no slacking Everybody's playing their position, that's the day I'm wishing Got up in the system, ain't no way of living Sick of getting sick of seeing cats, it's a catch We in the trap, never love the roles, cause they won't love you back You're now with our final line score.